his name Harry C. Spencer, a firefighter. During the rescue of a girl named Melissa, he stumbled across a counterfeiting ring. As a result, he lost his job and his girlfriend. Claire Anderson was killed by the Mafia. Burning with anger, Harry swore revenge upon her killers. Leaving the city, he trained under an ex-military vet to become a killer. Time passed. Harry, now a top-ranked sniper, returned to the corrupt city in order to exact his revenge. There, he received a phone call from a girl who called herself only C.A. She offered to provide him with information on the Mafia's activities. Even through his lingering doubts, Harry strangely found that he could bring himself to trust C.A. So with her help and advice, Harry began a concerted attack on the Mafia. It was only after killing the Mafia boss and completing his revenge that C.A. appeared before him. She was Melissa, the girl whom Harry previously saved. What is more, she possessed the memories of Harry's murdered girlfriend, Claire. And so, amid this confusion, their journey began. A journey in search of something lost. someone's day, is it? Sorry, kid. Why didn't you stop and help him? We're on the run, remember? We can't afford to stand out, take risks. So we just leave him stranded in the middle of the desert? I don't get the feeling that many cars come this way, and even if another one does, it'll probably just drive right past as well. I thought you were a better person than that. Look, right now... Right now has nothing to do with this. If this mess is going to make you stop being yourself, maybe you should just get caught. You're right, CA. I have had my revenge. I don't have to live like that anymore, to be on edge all the time. Wow, thanks. I'm saved. My name's Stanley Jones. I'm a precision engineer for Aquarium Electronics. An engineer? I would have thought an engineer could handle a little car trouble. Yeah, me too, but that hunk of scrap is far beyond even my skills. You know them doctors that get sick because they don't look after themselves? Now I know how they feel. <laughs> I'm Harry. Harry Spencer. Former firefighter. I'm... Claire. Claire Anderson. But people normally call me C.A. Where have I heard those names? Somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry too. Let's get something to eat. Okay, well, I know this great little place in Sacramento. Seeing as I owe you guys my life, it'll be my treat. I insist. I recommend the chicken special, best for miles around. Ouch! Hey, watch where you... Uh, I'm very sorry. Ooh, scary guy. Abby, three chicken specials and some coffees as well. So, got your eye on her, have you? Now I know why you heap praise on this place. Well, there is that, but the chicken special here is really good. Okay, just give me a minute. What a guy. So, here we are. What's next, Harry? Harry? What's up? Huh? Oh, that guy. The one Stanley bumped into back there. Oh! Him. He was a little scary. You know who he is? No. But he smells the same as I do. 
Harry, you don't smell. I mean, the smell of a killer. And there's pain in his eyes. Sure you're not just thinking too much? And anyway, he is totally different from you. He didn't seem half as cold for one thing. Harry! Whoa! Just stay where you are. Damn! How did they find me? Are they friends of yours, boss? They certainly give a warm reception anyway. How come they're so happy to see you? Don't call me boss. Come on, it kind of sounds cool, okay? Stanley, use this. Abby! You know how to shoot that, boss? I have a reasonable idea. I, on the other hand, have never been good with things that kill people. Hey, Stanley. Looks like your angel has misplaced her halo. Well, if you find it, I'll happily take it back. Bad news, boss. CA's pinned down. Damn. You'll be Swiss cheese before you reach her. Then I'll shoot them from here. Yeah, right. An amateur like you? Watch and learn. A miracle. We need a miracle. trouble. Do you know how to use that gun? Use the square button to switch to the scope, and the X and the circle button to zoom in or out. The R2 button is the trigger. Keep an eye on your ammo in the bottom left of the screen. Ugh. You red hot! Persistent, aren't they? Don't worry, I see them. Oh man, the Mafia are coming this way. Huh! Whoa! Hey, you okay? Ha! Bring them all on! That was a close one! Hey, boss, over there! CA, there are still some left! No good, she can't hear you! Can I make it? Don't take him out quick, she's gonna get shot!
Is that finally the end of them? C.A. Harry! <sighs> no! Hey, it's that guy again! <coughs> C.A. Who is that guy? Damn. The girl called Abby at the diner was an investigator for the CIA. She was working undercover in order to catch one Gabriel Armitage. Coincidentally, as well as being an assassin of renowned skill in the underworld, this Gabriel is also the mysterious man who just carried CA off. So whilst I thought those mafia thugs were gunning for me, seems they were actually cleaners dispatched by the family to take out Gabriel. One more thing. That gas we just breathed in is a nasty little biological weapon called Takamakan, developed in secret somewhere in America. Within 10 days of exposure, victims fall ill and then suffer rapid physiological breakdown. So in exchange for getting CA's location from Abby, we're going to be giving her a hand retrieving this bioweapon. Gabriel is former CIA. He took the test samples and antidote for the American military's top secret Takamakan project, along with all the data pertaining to it, and is currently on the run. What? So the gas is originally U.S. military? Yes. The CIA are trying to get it back before the whole mess blows wide open. But for Gabriel, former CIA, you guys are walking targets. Right. He knows every trick in our book. Which is why, rather than a full CIA op, we're asking for your help. In order to retrieve the Tackle McCann and antidote that has been sold so far, we first chase down the Mafia. They'll give something away about Gabriel eventually. The next target is one of the Mafia executives, Ian Gardner. He had connections with the Arms Baron. Our team has him under 24-hour surveillance. Will the world ever be free of evil? I know it is unlikely, but to borrow the words of C.A., the entire world would change if everyone only cared even just a little more. I'd like to believe, too, that even just a small thing could indeed change the world. He's small fry but he's betrayed even the organization and is trying to spread as much Tackle McCann as he can. He's just money-loving scum. He's arrived. Hey, boss, about Abby. What? No, uh, eh, it's nothing. Okay. Worried about CA, huh? Yeah. Oh, fate can be strange, but sometimes we just have to trust in it. I felt that we were taking part in the operation minus a vital piece of information. Something like, perhaps how God does not tell humans the purpose of existence. Which leaves us to look for the answers ourselves.
Harry. That UCA? You okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. But I've got some info for you. Tonight, a mafia exchange is taking place at Hotel Low. You have to stop it. What? There appears to be considerable conflict within the organization. Uh, tell me what this is all about. There's no time. Trust me. And don't tell anyone about this. It just keeps coming. Okay, Harry. Been a while since I navigated for you. Hey, CA, where are you? Keep your attention on the target building. Yeah, I can see it. Your target has betrayed the Mafia and is trying to sell the Tackle McCann on. Betrayed? What about the woman? The woman? I don't have any information on her. She's CIA. CIA? Okay, I'll ask. Ask? Ask who? Right. Here comes the target. This is CA. How is it? Can you see it from there? Sorry the footing is so bad. That's the only spot I can arrange. Feels like this incident isn't going to wrap itself up so easily. Ah! There he is! Explain yourself, Abby. Why were you there? Don't tell me. That was your work? I was undercover, of course. After letting him squirm for a little longer, he was to be added to the hit list. So, you make a habit of personally risking contact with every assassination target. It's my job to gather information. Don't go taking matters into your own hands again, okay? Hey, boss. Sup? Nothing much. Well, anyway, got the info on the next deal. A trusted source? You no longer trust me? Huh. Hey, hey, what's with you two? We need to find the antidote soon, don't we? Stanley, let me know if there are any changes to the schedule. Yeah, okay, but... Harry! The lingering lies between people. The subtle probing of others' thoughts. Dishonesty everywhere. You only have to watch the news to know it's the same everywhere in the world. To say one thing but do something else seems to be the standard practice across the world. I don't have to like it, though. I never told a lie in my life. No, honestly, never. No changes to the plans? Nope. The buyer's already entered the club. The seller as well. Details on the seller? One Frank Bates, ex-military, specializes in using a knife and is on the violent side, even within the family. Also known as Mad Dog Bates. A knife man. Huh. But 
If he's already inside, I can't do anything. Sniping is the only skill I have, I'm afraid. Don't worry, there's a skylight in the building. And a security system is set to start automatically if it's broken. Once that happens, everyone will be forced to come out. Break the skylight? Isn't that going to put bystanders in danger? Got that covered too, boss. The dance floor is in the basement. There shouldn't be anyone upstairs. It might be a little rough, but we don't have much time. Fate has guided us this far. Stanley, just to be on the safe side, be ready to go. Okay, I'll be in the van round the back. Get to it, boss. I can't make contact with Abby. Well, we can manage alone. I did some quick checking. The one that escaped is Alessandro Bernaldi. As you may have guessed from the name, he's a member of the Bernaldi family, a lower tier executive and a brother of their boss, Robert. So the Mad Dog was just a distraction, huh? Stanley, can you cut him off? Of course. There's nothing I can't do, boss. After breathing that Takamakan gas, we had to take part in the operation like it or not. The operation was to retrieve the Takamakan antidote along with all the data pertaining to it. CA was taken by the former CIA agent, Gabriel. Strange circumstances led me to work with this bizarre guy, Stanley. I just hope that CA is safe. He's left the highway and is about to come on to Canal Street. He plans on taking the Holland Tunnel into Manhattan. Looks like you were dead on. Thanks, boss. But no time for that now. His limousine should be in view at any moment. When I stop them, it's up to you to get the tackle mechan. Check out the inside of the limo as well. Yep, got it, boss. Get ready for a nasty surprise, Mr. Bernaldi. Windows are probably bulletproof. Can you take out the tires? Do it, boss! The limousine should be coming by any minute. Stanley, you get the tackle McCann? Yep, right here. Did you find anything else? There's no antidote, just general data for its production, and this. The tackle McCann factory. B! 
bingo. Looks like they're making missiles equipped with Takamakan warheads. The security is rock solid as well. Oh, and another thing. I can't get in touch with Abby. So we just have to go check it out. A little trip down to the local biological weapons factory. Which means it's finally time to learn our fate. Your eyes are so full of pain. Why are you fighting the Mafia? Harry said before that you and he are similar. I thought then that he was wrong, but now I understand. You have the strength to act on your convictions. I'm sure you and Harry could be friends. Never. He's my enemy too. But why? Don't forget, you're a hostage. The government are the ones who altered your DNA. It's their fault that you're involved in this, not mine. Remember that. You think I can ever forget it? I'm scared too. It feels like I'm no longer myself. That I'm someone else. The personalities, the memories of two people, mixing together. Did all those times I shared with Harry really happen? Or is it just another fragment created from my past? Am I Melissa or Claire? Which? Tell me! I'm sorry. The CIA was also involved in that project. No, I'm sorry. It's not... not your fault. Once, there was a young man. No matter what, he always did things his own way. Then one day, he fell in love with a beautiful woman. For the sake of that woman, the man betrayed both his friends and his own beliefs. He had nothing else. He believed that his love for her was everything. But that's wonderful. A total, pure love. Ah, uh, but the woman killed him. Why? Because in this world, an everything like that does not exist. Right, time to sleep. Still, that man lived his life to the full. Man, it's just a dumb story. So here we are, come to save the world, the Taco McCain factory. Does the CIA own this building, or the Mafia? Either way, our only choice is to see this to the end. That's the place? No doubt about it. They disguised it well, but I can see venting ducts far beyond the standard requirements. What about the security system? I've done my homework, don't worry. As long as the targets are destroyed in the correct order and within the time limit, then there won't be a problem. That part is up to you, boss. We don't have long. Let's get started. I've hacked into the security system's computer. Take them all out in the time limit. This one's next. one's next.
This one's next. All right, that takes out their security. Thanks to you. Oh, stop that, boss. You're embarrassing me. You've done well to get this far. <gasps> what are you doing here? I've had a change of heart. Quick! Give us the antidote! Now! Or tell us where you're hidden it! I see. So that's the line she fed you. I don't have it. Huh? Don't tell me you don't. Oh, no! Oh, damn! So it's our fate just to die? This antidote that you're searching for, it never existed in the first place. You're lying. You have to be infected as well. CA! You're right. All of us here breathed in Tackle McCann gas. And the younger the victim, the faster the Tackle McCann acts. However, she's still fine. Now, how could that be? She has some kind of Tackle McCann resistance? Antibodies? She was used in government experiments. Her DNA has been altered, adapted. And the DNA for Tackle McCann antibodies added to her system. Genetic manipulation, huh? So that has something to do with her having Claire's memories. I don't know the details. Whilst I personally don't believe it, it may be that C.A. is under the influence of the residual memories of your murdered girlfriend, Claire. This is crazy. Claire's DNA was used in C.A.? Memories from genetic material? Well, anyway, I was saved by a serum created from her blood. She has the remainder of the serum. You can take her back now. The family lost everything. They planned on spreading the virus and hoarding the vaccine. But now, they don't know where the vaccine is. In fact, only a few CIA members do. Including Abby? They're about to get serious. They're planning on using a missile with Tackle McCain warhead. There's a launch pad beyond that building. At this rate, the entire city is on the fast track to hell. Why? Why did you suddenly decide to tell us all this? I told you, I had a change of heart. Now get away from here. Harry, I'm... We'll talk later. Now go. Okay. C.A., let's move. Okay. <laughs> Stanley! Damn! Where's the shooter?
balls. I don't think. Don't talk. Save your strength. I, I won't need my strength. Much longer. Figured it out. You said you hated guns, yet you're a pretty good shot. You know hacking and security systems more than a mere engineer would know. Also, the way you appeared like that, the timing was just too perfect. So you saw right through. I was investigating Abby. How did you pretend not to know? Guess I was guided by fate. <laughs> you got that right, boss. And Gabriel showing up. I was unexpected. Both me and Abby. You still have a duty to save the world. There's a missile on side beyond the factory. Failed to protect someone. Again. Harry! They're going to pay for this. That was, uh, unfortunate. Yeah. Stanley, his name was, right? His headset. CA, you better take this. We can communicate using this. I have my own. And I've aligned the channels. Okay. Time to strike back. Use the outside stairs and head up to the roof. Take out the missile launch device. I'll head in and finish the job, close up. What? What are you thinking? I can hardly see anymore. Huh? Old war wounds. I can't fight at long distance. All right then. Harry! You're going whatever I say, aren't you? Someone has to. And to get the job done right, that someone has to be me. We need you at long range. But... CA, you hide here. I'm not hiding. I can at least back you up. Ready? Go! Started working. Keep going. Too early for the celebrations. 
Even with the launch device gone, there is still a warhead loaded with Takumakan and explosives down there. We're not safe until it's disabled, and Gabriel is out of contact. They sure are persistent. You okay? Harry, you're here. Get down. Thanks. This is the end of the line. Cease your futile struggling. Harry! CA! That voice, Robert Bernaldi. I see you remember your employer, dog. Good. Employer? You who use Cindy as a shield and force me to kill countless people? You who made me betray all of my old friends and made me steal your Tackle McCann? Huh? That's right. I employed you. And my price was the freedom of your lover. But I was never paid. And now, I never can be. That blind dog is your problem. It has nothing to do with me. And with this pretty hostage, you can do nothing against me. Goodbye. As always, I emerge the victor. C.A., are you okay? <coughs> yeah, <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> Good. It's over, isn't it? No. The mastermind behind this is still alive. The mastermind? Bellini. Senator Bellini? That would explain the check that we found. The family are nothing more than pawns to them. Them? Die! You love yourself that much? What can you hope to protect by going this far? Your position? Your power? Your money? Well, this shot is going to cost you all of them. It really is over. Hey, where are you going? I'm just going back for something. Hey, Cindy. Or is it Abby now? It's been a while. Gabriel, it's really you. 
The Gabriel you knew is dead. I searched for him. And now all of your plans have come to nothing. Whatever do you mean? Cindy, you can only take betrayal so far. Gabe, I really was worried about you. I betrayed the CIA, betrayed my buddies for you, and you repaid that with nothing but more betrayal. Don't blame your own stupidity on me. What are you doing? Get out of the way! Stop! Right there! Why? Stop! Don't come any closer. The family that was behind you are no more. I can't tell if you... if you were living or dead. I loved you very much. So, what do I fight for? Who was Stanley? Who was Gabriel? Is this all just a bad dream? If so, then what awaits at the end of the nightmare? Hey, Harry! Well, nightmare or not, it looks like I have to keep on living. Oh man, I didn't see this coming.